Hi, I'm Nathan Ritter from CardioGage.com. I'm a cardiologist in New York. Natokinase is an over-the-counter supplement which may have heart and blood vessel benefits. In this video, I'm going to go over some ways in which it's been studied, some potential uses, and at the end, a summary of my thoughts and possible dosing. Natto is a fermented soybean food made with the bacterium Bacillus subtilis. It's relatively popular in Japan, where people observed that consuming it seemed to be associated with better health. This led to study of the makeup of natto and how it could exert healthful effects. Researchers discovered what they dubbed natokinase, a potent clot-busting enzyme referred to as a fibrinolytic. So natokinase has the biochemical ability to break up blood clots and possibly prevent clot formation. This could be useful because heart attacks and strokes are often caused by blood clots. Here's an example of a stroke caused by a blood clot. Natokinase has been investigated for multiple purposes. Clot prevention, blood pressure treatment, neurological protection, and treating atherosclerosis. In terms of whether or not natokinase actually prevents clots in humans, it's not well studied. The science is limited to animals such as rats and mice, test tube experiments, and measurements of lab values in people. There was one case study of a person who decided they were going to substitute natokinase for warfarin for preventing blood clots on their mechanical aortic valve. Warfarin is the standard treatment for preventing blood clots on a valve and in fact is really the only treatment known to work. But somebody thought that maybe they could try natokinase instead. It didn't work at all and the person clotted up their aortic valve which was terrible and required another open heart operation to fix that. So uh, in general, uh, I wouldn't recommend taking natokinase with the purpose of preventing a blood clot. How about blood pressure? Well, natokinase is better studied for blood pressure effect in humans as compared to the clot prevention effect. A couple of human studies showed decreased blood pressure with natokinase. In this study, there was a drop of 5.6 points on the top number pressure. This is about what I would expect with lisinopril 10 milligrams per day a medication which possibly works similarly on a biochemical level as natokinase. The dose used was 2000 FU. FU stands for fibrinolytic unit, which happens to be the measure that's generally used to decide how much natokinase a person is taking. How about neuroprotection? Well, natokinase is very poorly uh, tested in this regard. Again, studies are limited to lab animals um, and test tubes. There's no clinical data that proves that natokinase prevents dementia, delays the onset of dementia, or improves brain function. Let's take a look at natokinase for treating atherosclerosis. There are multiple studies in humans in this space. In this study from China, 158 patients were given either simvastatin 20 mg per day or natokinase 6,000 FU per day for 26 weeks. The authors report a decrease in plaque size of 36% with natokinase as compared to simvastatin, which decreased plaque size by 11%. This sounds great, but plaque size is not a standard measurement of atherosclerosis, and basically, this sounds a little too good to be true. I wanted to read the entire study, but I couldn't get it online. The natokinase was associated with a tiny decrease in the plaque thickness, which is a standard measure of atherosclerosis. In the study, they also stated that LDL cholesterol levels decreased, but they didn't say how much, and I don't know why they wouldn't say how much in the abstract. Another study showed non-statistically significant decrease in total cholesterol with 4,000 FU of natokinase two times a day for eight weeks. Lastly, another study from China studied natokinase plus red yeast rice extract versus natokinase alone versus placebo. The natokinase did not decrease LDL compared to taking the placebo, so basically it didn't work. Of course, natokinase plus red yeast rice extract worked, but it's well known that red yeast rice extract decreases LDL cholesterol, so I don't know what to make of that finding. In terms of what's being done now to study natokinase, the most promising scientific experiment I came across was this one from the University of Southern California. They're looking at the natokinase effect on atherosclerosis, blood pressure, and brain function. They're using 2000 FU versus placebo daily for three years. 
and comparing carotid intimal medial thickness and other parameters. Carotid intimal medial thickness is a measure of how thick the carotid artery wall is. I've got a short video about it if you want to learn more. Anyway, this sounds like a legit study and hopefully it will be completed soon. Okay, how about some safety concerns? These mainly relate to the possible anti-clotting effect of natokinase. You wouldn't want to take it before surgery, for example. And if you're on a blood clot prevention medication, no one could tell you if natokinase was a good thing or a bad thing. It hasn't been tested and it makes sense to stay away from it because it could make your blood too thin. And allergy to natokinase is unlikely, but it can occur. So in summary, natokinase is a relatively unproven supplement. Study is ongoing looking at its effects on blood pressure, atherosclerosis, clotting, and brain function. Typical doses would be 2,000 FU to 4,000 FU per day. And by the way, a small serving of natto, about 50 grams, has 1,500 FU of natokinase in it. I haven't used it in any of my patients. Um, the only time I would even think about it would be for somebody who had high blood pressure and they could not take or decline to take prescription medication. I might try it to see what happened with their numbers. But overall, uh, we really need to wait for more information to come out about natokinase and its effect on humans. As always, hit like and subscribe for more content. I appreciate the feedback. If you have any questions about natokinase, please leave them below. And if you have any uh, stories about your personal use of natokinase, I'm very interested in that. For example, its effect on your blood pressure or on your cholesterol levels, it would be great to hear from you about that stuff. So thanks for watching and see you next time.